after getting punched up by Joe Joyce, apparently Daniel Dubois is going to make his comeback against um, part-time policeman, part-time boxer Bogdan Dino. Bogdan Dino is known for giving guys a few rounds, say about three to four rounds. He's, he's going to punch you up for about four rounds. And then he's probably gonna quit. That's what it's known for. So it's, I, I can send, see a similar thing happen with this Dubois fight. Dubois is probably gonna lose the the first couple of rounds because Dean is he's not he's not bad, even though he's not a, a full time professional boxer. As I said, he's a policeman. He's actually got decent skills. He was um, outboxing Gerald Miller before Gerald Big Baby Miller before he got stopped and. He was doing the same to you. What's his name? Kura Pulev as well. You, if you remember that fight where um, Pulev got that the the cut and then he um, he had the incident with a reporter afterwards. That was the Dinu fight. He, Pulev was actually struggling that fight. <laughs> you know, I just I just um, skipped past the reporter stuff like it's some insignificant thing. You know, remember when he kissed the reporter and. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a whole big drama behind that, yeah. <laughs> that was the Dinu fight. Yeah, um, as I said, Pulev was actually losing that fight because Dinu is actually a decent boxer, so I can see him doing the exact same to the bar. But yeah, as I said, he's gonna get knocked out or quit by rounds um four, four or five rounds. With this Dinu stuff with Dubois though, he's pretty much back to boxing similar level of opposition as it was before the Joyce fight because Dinu is not really there to win in my opinion. He's just there to to have some fun and get paid and you know um go home early really because um he got stopped like I said he got stopped against Miller and Pulev back to back and then he fought two cream puffs after that and now he's here to fight Dubois again. I can see the exact same thing happening so they're not really trying to test the ball with this fight. It's just another, you know, just to give an, given another win. It's quite bizarre for him to be coming off a loss and fighting for some random trinket title. This for the, for the, what is it? The WBA, the WBA interim title, whatever the hell that is. That's what he's fighting for. How can you be coming off a loss and fighting for some trinket title? Is that what what criteria does he does he does he fit to um to qualify him to fight for this title it's just it's strange really and dino as well dino is coming off well like i said back to back defeats and then four two cream puffs what those cream puffs are do um is what qualifies him to it, yeah he was he was lingering on like i think the wbc rankings and no i think it was just he was lingering the wba rankings for a while and it just seemed strange they were moving him up and down over the past few months people were wondering why the hell was dino just lurking in the rankings it didn't make sense but now that this fight's been announced it all makes sense to you they, they were working on this fight <laughs> with dubois you never really can tell what's up with him because I'm not too sure. Does, does he really enjoy boxing, or is this his father's dream? What what is it with him? There was that interview where he did with um, Frank. Well, his last interview on IFL with Frank Warren. Um, I think his dad was in the background, but it was on camera. Was Daniel Dubois, Frank Warren, and his um, former former trainer slash manager was it Martin Bowers? It was all three of them on camera, and he just seemed seemed strange like the bar was forced to be there like he was held against his will it was just bizarre look I'm, I'm, I'm gonna make sure i put some still images of that interview <laughs> right as i speak it's just strange you guys need to go check it out his body language was just yeah not all there it just seemed like like his heart's not in it i don't know it just seemed like <laughs> like a victim really <laughs> Also, he's still hell-bent on some sort of revenge for Dylan White saying he's a quitter. In regards to that quitter thing, it's just strange. He literally quit. Like, there's no debate to it whatsoever. So, what's the issue with people saying they quit? That's the act. That's exactly what he did. There's, it's, there's no technicalities to it whatsoever. That is exactly what happened. He quit. He shouldn't have any issues with people saying that's what he did, you know. But for some reason, is you know he's he's um he's pinpointing Dylan as the 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 main antagonist of the whole situation. So yeah, he's saying Dylan is the one he wants to fight. 
even though was, everybody literally everyone said he quit which is exactly what he did you know including um i remember tyson fury saying this is a hard sport but he's not he's not onto tyson fury no no of, of course tyson fury got away with that one he's not he doesn't want to show tyson fury that he has heart i think for his own good he needs to let go of that whole joe joy situation obviously he has to you know try and rebuild and do whatever he has to do in the gym to get himself better mentally and physically but in regards to that trying to prove to others that you're not quite just let go just be the best you can be in and it is what it is knocking out dylan is not going to change what happened against joe joyce it's you know it's all it's all history it's happened just let it go speaking of dylan he got into tyson fury and deontay wilder about their padded records and you know not fighting stiff or <laughs> pause not fighting tough uh, opposition <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah i couldn't say that that would have sounded crazy but anyways see, let's check out what dylan said dylan goes fury and wilder get too much credit for the padded cherry picked records they've only fought and beaten one current ring magazine top 10 fighter each i've beaten three Fury calls himself the greatest of all time yet he's turned down fights against me when ordered by the wbc the guy's a joker he fought wilder and beat wilder but i've been trying to fight wilder for a long time end quote yeah that that's that's basically the main gist of what he said but he's not lying there if you check out their records they ain't really fought no one current no one really doing anything in the division right now if you check one thing that really sticks out he picked on he picked on wilder and then picked on fury why did not why did he not mention aj it's clear to see because aj is fighting live bodies like dylan is but these other two jokers well these other two um men they, they're not really you know they're just messing around playing it as safe as possible which you know there's no well there is shame in that but, but you know you can't go around talking about you the greatest ever you're this and that um both of them i think they've both said they're better than ali um both being wilder and fury they've both re um respectively said they're better than ali better than tyson better than this and that so yeah you can't be going around um potentially fighting carlos negron and all sorts of crap like that and talking about your bed and ali bed and this and that you know it's pretty pathetic really anyways um dylan's possibly got the best cv in the heavyweight division right now alongside aj so yeah it's quite sad that he's still yet to fight for a world title it's pretty it's, it's quite shocking really but hopefully in the next year or so he's gonna get shot on the top 10 for some reason we got Tyson Fury at number one followed by Joshua Wilder White Ortiz for some reason is at number five and then we've got Joseph Parker Andy Ruiz Jr Michael Hunter Povetkin Oscar Rivers and Usyk right so out of them out of all 10 Asia's for Dylan White which is one he's for Joseph Parker that's two Ruiz Jr three is for Povetkin four. It's for four out of them, right? It's about to fight um, Fury, which is gonna make five, right? Wilder, who's Wilder for? Wilder's for Tyson Fury. Has it for AJ? No. Has it for White? Nope. It's for Ortiz. That's two. Has it for Parker? Nope. Ruiz? Nope. Hunter? Nope. Povetkin? Hell no. He ran away. Rivas? Nope. Usyk? Nah. So that's two for Wilder. Okay, Fury. Who's Fury for? As it for AJ, he's about to fight AJ, but he has it for AJ. As it for Wilder, yep, that's one. As it for White, nope, he ducked White. As it for Ortiz, nope. As it for Parker, nope, that's his bestie. As it for Ruiz Jr., nope, another new bestie. As it for Hunter, nope, Povetkin, nope, Rivas, nope, Music, nah. Okay, let's go for Dylan. Who's Dylan for? Um, as it for Fury? Nope, Fury ducked him. As it for Joshua? Yep, that's one. As it for Wilder? Nope, Wilder ducked him. Ortiz? Nope, Ortiz ducked him. As it for Parker? Beat Parker. That's two for Dylan so far. As it for Ruiz Jr.? Nope, Ruiz Jr. Semi ducked. Actually, he fully ducked him. Hunter? Nope. Povetkin? Yep. Rivas? Yep. Usyk? Nah. So that's four for Dylan it's not like he's making it up even though that list is kind of kind of suspicious some people don't belong on that list in my opinion but if we're gonna go by this list let's go by this list you know wilder and fury 
they've not really fought guys in this list. Who are they fighting? Who have they fought in this list compared to Dylan White and AJ? We can even go, okay, let's let's take Parker for example. Let's see who Parker's fought in this list. Parker's probably fought more than Wilder and Fury in this list. Let's go for Parker. Let's see. Fury, nah, that's his bestie. Joshua, yep, he fought Joshua. Okay, I'm going to go Parker ain't fought no one. <laughs> Actually, okay, I can <laughs> Parker fought Ruiz. He ain't fought Hunter. He ain't fought Povetkin. He ain't fought Rivas. He ain't fought Music. Nah, actually, how can I forget? Parker fought AJ. He fought Dylan. And then he's fought Andrew Ruiz on this list. So, Parker's fought three out of the, out of the top 10 stroke 11. So, Parker's fought three. Um, Wild and Fury, this, they fought two between them. And Dylan's fought four, AJ's fought four, about to be five. Well, we can say Fury's about to be three as well. So Fury's about to equal Parker's, the amount Parker's fought. So Parker's actually fought more on this list than Wilder and, and Fury. But then again, certain men will be moving around like they're doing all sorts of dirt in the division. They're beating up everybody in the division. But if you really look, look at it in the light, yeah, things look kind of funny, you know? How can Parker be fighting more credible opponents over the years than... Well, Fury's got the excuse that he took, took off some time. Wilder, Wilder's been fighting and fighting and fighting and fighting. That's just pathetic. That's why I have such respect for Dylan and AJ, really. I, I love fights like that, you know. You go for the legacy. The money's gonna come along with it, you know. It's not just all about playing safe, ducking and dodging. Um, damage control, narrative, editing, telling lies, doing all sorts of crap. I don't, I don't respect that whatsoever. All the respect to the world, to the guys really putting in the work. Anyways, I'm gonna wrap it up there. Let me know what you think of everything I said in this video, including Dubois and Kajana, the policeman, um, Dylan's comments regarding these guys' CVs. Mm, she's, yeah, leave it all down in the comment section below. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe if you're new here, slap up the notification bell, and I'm out.